Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Federal Minister for Energy, representative of the business community, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. It is indeed a great pleasure to attend this important event of the signing ceremony of a joint venture agreement between Pakistan Minerals Development Corporation and the Miracle Salt Works Collective Incorporation, US. The United States has remained one of Pakistan's most valued trading partners. Signing of today's agreement will further strengthen the mutually beneficial cooperation and friendship between our two countries and two people. This JV for investment will also become part of many other such ongoing investment projects, further contributing to a sound and stable Pakistan-US relationship in the years and decades to come. We are indeed witnessing a momentous occasion for Pakistan. This agreement not only paves the way for export of our prized pink rock salt, but also symbolizes a landmark achievement for our nation's investment climate. MSCI's decision to invest US $200 million in Pakistan is a resounding vote of confidence in our economic policies. This is also a testament to the stability and security that Pakistan offers as an investment destination. <coughs> this substantial investment is not just about salt. It's about trust, partnership, and shared prosperity. Distinguished guests, the scope of our endeavors should go beyond the Pink Rock Salt Project. We should utilize the full potential of the mining sector to become a new driver of Pakistan's economic growth. We take pride in taking steps to further opening up Pakistan for business and investment. We have introduced comprehensive reforms to create a level playing field for investors with transparent regulations, streamlined procedures, and robust legal frameworks. This commitment to transparency and investor protection stands as a cornerstone of our economic vision. Ladies and gentlemen, the Special Investment Facilitation Council, famously known as SIFC, plays a pivotal role in our quest to create an enabling environment and facilitate foreign direct investment. Established in June 2023 with a vision of whole of a government approach, SIFC serves as a one window solution to investors offering guidance, support, and streamlined approvals. This dedicated council works tirelessly to remove impediments to expedite the investment process. Through SIFC, we are actively promoting investment in sectors like energy, mines and minerals, information technology, agriculture, and livestock, as well as industry and tourism. Distinguished guests are young and vibrant population, coupled with a growing middle class, presents a very attractive market for investors seeking long-term dividends and long-term engagement with Pakistan. Looking ahead to the future, the government of Pakistan stands committed to extending all possible support to investors to facilitate more FDI. We are constantly working on improving the ease of doing business eliminating unnecessary bureaucratic hurdles and ensuring a smooth regulatory environment. Uh, while before concluding uh, this statement of mine, uh, I would like to say a few things. You were absolutely right when you were talking about a friendship with a Pakistani. It does last for life. And, uh, let me compliment the American people as well. Uh, whenever I've come across uh, America, and particularly American people, probably the most warm and generous people on earth I have found are from the United States of America. <laughs> their openness, uh, their liberal values, their sense of inclusiveness, their famous American dream, it all tells about individuals, progress, prosperity, on equitable and equal basis. Uh, it's a beacon, it's a role model for a thriving economy and a society for the rest of the world. 
Pakistan has a long lasting, very deepened relationship with the United States of America. We have been through thick and thin. And uh, the encouraging part is uh, that I see a transformation from the security perspective to economic perspective from the side of the United States of America. Pakistan is not just a geostrategic location which carries importance. It's a geo-economic offer. And that geo-economic offer, as Minister of Energy was explaining, that we are lying here on Titian Belt, which uh, more or less is around 2,800 square kilometers, which is filled with a volcanic eruption of two millennia ago, and which contributed towards this verse of Quran, which says that what would be emerge from the earth, it has decided probably two millennia ago that what would emerge in 2024 or 2080 or 3280, whatever, you know. So Pakistan is rich. It is rich, the right kind of policies, which is that we're, what we have been doing for last so many years, that we have been just exporting our raw material. That has to end. That has to end. The value addition has to come. And until and unless we do not have the value addition, we cannot transform economically like the Chileans have done, the Australians have done, the Canadians have done. This is the path for Pakistan, value addition. And this is the right step uh, uh, demonstrated here in Kebra. I'm pretty much sure that we will be exporting the quality product uh, in, in the coming days and uh, Pakistan will get its rightful branding for the product which is very important. And this would pave the way uh, for further opportunities which lies from, from rare earth materials to copper and gold, to chromite, to lead and zinc, so on and so forth. Uh, along with that, our human resource uh, probably is more important even than our mineral resource. So our uh, human resource coupled with our natural resource, which is the mineral resource is one of that, will lead, inshallah, to the prosper Pakistan, to a stable Pakistan, to a rising Pakistan. And Pakistan will, inshallah, have not just its own dreams, but the realization of those dreams. Thank you so much.